Hey, there's Bina Kiln unloading. I went last night to the studio and this is what I got out of there. There were some surprises, even though I'm experimenting. So I guess there's not much of a surprise that there's some surprises. <laughs> I've done variations on this combination of clays before, but I think it turned out differently this time. At the top, this is, I was expecting this, but oh, just, I love it. I love it. It's sort of a teal, watery color. And because it has that white stripe in there, I kind of feel like it's nautical. This one has the frog. The, the monks have the frog. In the same glaze, we have the wine glasses, which do not have a frog. I don't know why I didn't include a frog, but I didn't on this one. Maybe people can tell me what they think they, those should be called. Something to do with the ocean. And then there's these puppies. Look at what happened. I, I'm playing with the variations of glaze, how to apply it. And these four mugs, one, two, three, four, came out delicious. I just want to lick that. I mean, you could because you're drinking coffee out of it. You could lick that. I've left, left the bottom of these unglazed, and I quite like that texture. It's sort of a juxtaposition, the, the rough and the smooth. These ones I'll have a frog too, and a little finger holder. They're all going to the Hello Market in Leduc tomorrow, but they'll be available to my email members first and then if anybody else wants one just let me know and I'll put one aside or you can meet me at the market so it's the same same combination of glazes I've got a little pinch cup this one is you could have wine in that if you're a moderate drinker or maybe uh, Bailey's that would be a nice Bailey's mug and then there's a bigger one. So I'm working on a, a series of mugs for someone that in this glaze combination that is wine. But that's for sale. And then there's a little shot glass. Or, oh, and just because I wanted to play, see what happened with a different kind of glaze. There's three glazes on that little sweet little bowl. Some little dipping bowls here, just in blue, because I wanted to see what the, I, I work in two different glazes. Clays. One is the speckled, and one is the white. And I wanted to see what happened in comparison on the two of them. See how these are a little bit more yellow? That's because they have the buff clay. And then there's some similar to these. We've got black metallic. Look, you can even see me. Black metallic, it's kind of a cool recipe. I made this glaze in our studio. The frog is a parent on these, so there's two of those. There's a nice little pair. That's it. Tell me what you think.